Good morning. Welcome back to the Den of Iniquity. That is Ken Shaving and BSing, home of your original Big Shave Best champion, as always. And today, I'm in shock, honestly. Um, I still am because this is totally unexpected. As you know, in a previous video some months ago, I did a review of Aquamarine from Fine. It's the uh, with the West Coast Shaving Collaborative. Fine sent me the Aquamarine uh, aftershave and the soap. And so, I mean, I know I'm, I'm one of the smaller video guys on YouTube, but some companies send me stuff. And so Fine reached out to me a week and a half or so ago, maybe two weeks ago, and said, hey, Ken, um, you know, we got uh, Latigo coming out, new aftershave out, and we'll talk about this during the video. And we like, you know, of course, send you a sample, get your a review on video. And yes, I know this is all about the marketing, okay? I know they want video reviews to talk about it, get their product out there. That's great. I'm all for it. Because in general, I like Fine's products. I have a number of them. I mean, you know, I love Platinum, for example. But I have pretty much now, even like, um, I have even Clean Vetiver, which I happened to get in a box that my buddy John Gilmore got. We did a swap and we did some stuff with that over a lunch, which was great. So I have a good amount of Fine product. And um I mean, I have the Marvel Razor, you know, for example, also. But what came along with the Latigo shocked me when I saw the invoice, and then I received it. And first of all, fine, folks there, way too generous. Okay, first of all, way too generous. But thank you for the opportunity to try this razor, because I've been looking for it. I just let it slip. It's a razor. I've been looking at it. wasn't sure. Reading the specs on it. Sounded great. You know, I got a lot of stuff already, but to, for you to send this to me, man, thank you. <laughs> Legitimately, thank you. No acting, no mugging for the camera. Thank you. I mean, I immediately t uh, messaged two friends and said, can you believe this? So here's the thing. So not only are we going to talk about Latigo, how, what it's based on, and how, you know, how it smells, we're going to be talking about the fine, world's finest razor, Based on the Gillette New, although it's slightly different, you can see it's got the, the longer bars, but it is a kind of a semi comb razor because it's got a safety bar as opposed to just straight open combs. So reminiscent in style of like an R41, but obviously not an R41 whatsoever. It came shipped with the cap, the base plate, and the handle in these separately bagged and labeled Ziplocs, and this is kind of cool because it's got you see component material, style, finish, uh, weight, the grade of the metal, if it had a thread or not, you know, depending on the piece and the uh, what it is, the skew. So this is like the base plate, this is the cap, and this is the handle, right? Yeah. So. I am so looking forward to this. I've been eyeballing Gillette News after I heard this was coming on like eBay from a guy I bought from that sent me decent quality, you know, uh, old old stock razors, right? They're in good shape for a reasonable price. But, man. So I'm looking forward to this. Now, I'm going to use a fine soap. I'm going to use Aquamarine because it's light. You know, soap doesn't stay on your skin much. It's handy. But these do not, I mean, they don't ride together. This is fresh, citrusy, clean, aquatic. This is based on, I don't know how to pronounce it. Some people, I've seen, I even looked it up yesterday. I'm going to just call it Kniza 10, which is, is an old Austrian um, kind of uh, eau de cologne that's leather and tobacco. It's got a little menthol in it. And if you like old school, if you like Alt Innsbruck, for example, this is right in the wheelhouse right there. If you like uh, old school masculine, somewhat tobacco-y, I'd say like tobacco flower and leather. It's a uh, it's really nice. It'd be great for cool falls, winters in particular. I really enjoy the scent. As you know, fine's very basic. You know, it, it's um, you know, it's water, alcohol, fragrance, menthol. I mean, it's a real basic classic aftershave. In fact, it's on the box here. See, alcohol, water, fragrance, and menthol. So this is your basic aftershave. Well, fine. Does have some hang time on my skin. So definitely excited about that. Alright, we're out of the shower, clean a hydrate to go. Daddy needs a haircut or I get one Friday. 
Um, I'm gonna get some water going, get that warmed up. Let's load the razor, three piece razor. The knurling to me is exceptional. It's a micro fine diamond knurling and it, extremely grippy. I really, when I took it out, I was like, I thought I felt some of my skin coming off, you know, <laughs> my fingertips because of that. Very, um, let me turn this down, let me get some more. Very exceptional finishing. I guess probably the coating over the stainless, but I noticed no burrs, no real scratches, so it's probably the coating. But the cap itself, very well finished in my opinion. Handles great, it's a great weight. I think overall, when we do some math, you're looking at, see, handle is 69.1, so that's 70, see, 83.5 with the base plate, and, see, 83.5, 97.2 grams in total were unloaded, so it was 93. So just shy of 93 grams, let's see, let me do that math again, <laughs> 90, let's see, doo -doo 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 -doo. yeah, not 96, almost 97 grams. So now with every new razor I get, I baseline it with my favorite blade of all time, the Gillette Stainless. I don't, th these I don't even think you can find anymore unless you know, I haven't seen them on eBay in a long time. So I have like a number of tucks. I've given some away early on and then I bought another 200 tucks that are gonna be my blade of all time. They come double wrapped. They're, they're made out of St. Petersburg, Russia. The Gillette factory. And they do have the prerequisite glue budding. Some people say these may have just been taken over by the NASA. I have no idea. All I know is I love the, the Gillette Stainless Blade. It just says Gillette Stainless each side. It's got the one, two, and the three, and the four. These have the long teeth, reminiscent of a long uh, little poles here, reminiscent of the Gillette New, from my knowledge. And tighten down. There we have it. So let's wet the face, let's get it warmed up. Banana leaf, banana oil, pre-shave. Phoenix shaving. 1.0 version. Now add a little water in. See, this is, see, Sunday, my Tuesday. This is um, four days growth. Get the aquamarine soap. I like the performance of the fine soaps, they do great for me. I never have a problem with them. So, wet the brush in distilled water. We'll just lather up. So, thank you again, the folks at Fine Accoutrements, for the <laughs> way overly generous. Um, I, the aftershave, I was pleased just to get a notification to get the aftershave. Then I get the, uh, your order has shipped email and it said, world's finest razor. I'm like, come again? What? <laughs> I know CDB got his video out. I haven't watched it yet. I was, um, I was visiting a friend in Houston. This came in yesterday. I was gonna shave last night, but I wasn't feeling it. And I gotta go into the office today, so. About my fourth time since the whole, since March I've had to go, um, let's say St. Patrick's Day or so, I've gone into the office. Which I haven't missed, to be honest. <laughs> I said to be honest, probably too much here. Huh? 
while lathering, get some more warm water on the razor. the handle off here <clears throat> okay this is gonna be I've never used a Gillette new so the specs you know versus how I'm not even used to the old one so let's see how this shaves so far so good Great blade to razor matchup, that's for sure. Felt feels really nice so far. So far, extremely comfortable. Doesn't feel aggressive at all. Doesn't feel overly mild. I would say for a first pass takedown, good performing razor. Very, very good performing razor. I'm already thinking I'll do a, a follow up. I'll do a day. I'll do a. a one day's growth shave to compare how it feels against the skin, you know, when it's just a baseline. In comparison, in terms of Razors based on old designs. I've used an old type head from from uh, Razor Rock. It was okay. I prefer this better. I think the the longer the the longer extended safety bar, the position of it. It's a really good first pass. I'm a. Uh, I mean, this one. I mean, I definitely got to do a second, but. No mistaking. I have no concerns about the uh, concerns about trying to find the right angle with this razor. I do have a little, I have a little blemish there I hit, so I have a little weeper going. But this was a this is a grab and go razor.
really enjoying the handle. The handle length is perfect for me. Not too long, not too short. Uh, the knurling's great. I think the finish on the caps are great. The finish here, it's a little more brushed on the handle versus polished, but really nice. Hang on one sec. That was that little clicking noise. My puppy's sleeping and <laughs> she's shaking a little, from dreaming. Yeah, really enjoying this. I would say if you're one of those that likes a little more blade feel, this probably wouldn't be your your one of your go-to razors. But if you're close, if you're like me, who's not a blade feel, I don't know, positive blade exposure, like real positive blade exposure um, razors. You know where it's. Up, well, they're not really my style because I just want a comfortable shave that's still you know effective. This is definitely <clears throat> in my wheelhouse. Now, to be fair, I'm like I said, I'm gonna do follow-up videos with with it based on a daily shave because this is four days growth. This is not a daily shave, right? But this is a heck of a first test for it. And at $165. While you're getting beautiful construction, great finish, we need you know we need to you need to know if you you feel like you are getting your um, your dollars worth for this. You definitely will on the finish. I mean, even the plates like the base plate, it says world's finest around. Let me take this part for a second. It says world's finest around the, it's very legible. See, it's like world's finest. Yeah, so you're gonna get your quality in terms of construction. As we know, razors are very subjective. They're like, they're like splitting hairs, you know. What am I gonna get from, you know, a, hypothetically a 34C versus a Rockwell you know, 6S, what am I going to get, you know, from a, a Gillette Tech versus, uh, you know, a, a Ascension from Phoenix Shave. You know, you know, I know it's kind of apples and oranges, but the point is, what's the shave you're going to get from this? So, obviously, you know, this is not a budget razor. I mean, you're getting material quality, you're getting great finish, but, you know, That's why I want to do a daily driver. I'm not. 
this is a first critique, obviously, so I'm not, I'm just mentioning points that I think a consumer would want. But I will say, as a razor itself, very good. In fact, I'm going to stop here because I don't want to overdo it, obviously. So I want a comfortable shave. I don't want my skin to tell me otherwise. So let's take it apart. There is a little bit of overhang, so it's not a completely covered uh, blade. So be mindful of that while you're at it. I'm going to rinse the blade off. Set it down. Even says world's finest on the cap. Which is, I mean, the finish is tremendous. I mean, I think you're getting, I think you're getting um, an excellent product. Performs well for, you know, it's not, it's not an aggressive razor. It's not meant to be but it's very comfortable. Let's take our alum and we'll see what it does. All right, so. So shave comfort. A little bit where I had a little weeper, which you expect it, it's exposed, right? Little feedback here, but I did go over a little. Very mild generalized, which is a good sign. Because that, I mean, when I just took off, you know, fresh coat of skin and, and four, four days growth, so. So in terms of knocking down some hair and getting a fresh layer of skin, very comfortable shave. I felt no issues. <clears throat> Tugging, pulling, blade matchup was good. Yeah, I think um, so far I'm giving it high marks for performance, high marks for construction quality. Tomorrow will be a better, uh, you know, to give us an idea <clears throat> on, a, on a daily shave, what kind of razor it would be for my type of skin. I, I think I'm very average. You know, so I think I'm a fair barometer. All right, now, so on to the aftershave. So Latigo by Kniza 10, um, based on Kniza 10, was an old Austrian uh, recipe aftershave. So it's a classic bottle, it's got the drip drip stop so you can kind of do that see it's pretty cool getting the hands there let some of the alcohol evaporate oh yeah this is masculine this is old school I said all Innsbruck, <clears throat> uh, Z Pep kind of, but with a with a leathery take. This is for you if you want old school masculine scent. Screams man. It's definitely a it's definitely a, a winning scent, and it's a very very different in profile from anything they have. I mean, yes, they have green vetiver. They have. Um, Fresh vetiver. They're both takes on colognes. This one's a take on cologne. But then you've got, you know, Italian citrus and and platinum and American blend. This one <clears throat> takes them in a different direction and a good one because I think it was a necessary one in their lineup. Uh, if you if you're a green vetiver fan, but you also like tobacco, you want richer, darker scents. Orange Noir is like a citrus and vetiver. 
It's definitely a definitely take on Cologne. I think you like this too. If you like tobacco leather kind of combos, this one's really nice. Yeah, so. Fine Accoutrements, World's Finest Razor. So far, I love the finish. I love the weight. I, I like the performance. I think it really did a really good job. Mine is where I had a blemish. It was my only little weeper. Of course, my blade parry is my favorite blade. I had high confidence in the blade itself. So far, very nice, very nice product. We'll see how it does more for a daily driver. Latigo aftershave. I'm gonna enjoy this scent today. Old school masculine tobacco leather. Like I said, Alt Innsbruck, Z Pepino. Take it that way, add a little leather to it. I think um, you're gonna get a scent that you enjoy if you want rugged, man, especially fall, winter coming. Perfect timing for this. So the folks at Fine, thank you <laughs> again very much for this opportunity. We'll use it again, of course to see how it does for, just for, you know, as the shaver, going in daily, see what it does to my skin. But so far, I think you got two winners on your hands, folks. By the way, they sent this to me. I already said that, it's in the mail. This was a surprise, did not expect this. So I am just giving you my fair assessment as best I can. I do enjoy it. I do enjoy this scent. You know, I'm gonna see how it wears. I know I'll get a good performance from it. I got good for it so far, so we'll see how it goes for the next shave. But again, fine accoutrements. Thank you very much. Everybody, thanks for watching as always. Stay safe, dry safe, don't drink and drive. Cheers. Too sweet to the good brothers and good sisters out there. The champ loves you. Look, I'm looking at my camera and I know where my belt is. And I'm not <laughs> Take care. And again, fine. I'm gonna say again. Thank you again for this opportunity. And I will see you all in the next shave to see how this does again on a daily shave. Talk to you there.